Hello, this is John, JD, PhD, Finance Concentration. In this video, I'll be discussing the compound annual growth rate, solving for the interest rate and the future value of a lump sum. Here's a hypothetical example, solving for the compound annual growth rate, that is, solving for the interest rate and the future value of a lump sum. Let me read off the question. Assume that five years ago, an individual invested $10,000 in a fund and it's worth $15,000 today. What's the compound annual growth rate for this investment? Let's go to the solution. Step one, using the future value of a lump sum formula, FV equals PV times one plus I raised to the nth power. FV stands for future value, PV stands for present value, I is the interest rate, N is the exponent and is the uh, time period. Step two, plug in the information that is known. So $15,000 equals $10,000 times one plus I raised to the fifth power. Divide through by $10,000 on each side. So in step three, you have 1.5 equals one plus I raised to the fifth power. Now raise each side to the one-fifth power. So 1.5 raised to the one-fifth power equals one plus i to the fifth raised to the one-fifth power. Now on the right side those powers will cross out each other so you'll be left with one plus i in step five on the right side and uh, looking at step four the left side you have 1.5 raised to the one-fifth power that's the same as 1.5 raised to the 0 0.2 power if you do that calculation you should end up with 1.0845 for the left side of step five so let me read off step five 1.0845 equals one plus i now in step six solve for i I equals 1.0845 minus 1 equals 0 0.0845 times 100 to get it into percentage notation equals 8.45 percent. So the compound annual growth rate for this investment is 8.45 percent. This is a hypothetical example, a hypothetical question. Thank you. Bye.